Hey there, everybody. Gideon's Tactical here doing a really quick review for you on a particular little pocket tool. This is the Leatherman Piranha. <laughs> this guy definitely looks like a little piranha right here. Give you some really quick specs and we'll just talk about it here pretty quick. Should be a short review for you. The specs are it's made out of 420 high carbon steel, nice and thick. I'd say it's about an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, it is 3.87 inches long and it weighs 1.9 ounces and the length here I want to make sure and get the width for you is an inch and a quarter for the the width that is why it's part and those are the main specs for you so this is what you get with this little guy what I was looking for is a tool to go on my keychain particularly that had a screwdriver bit that I, I really could get you know like a an actual Phillips head you know, not just like a flathead that says it can go inside of Phillips. So I saw this and mounts in here and, and I saw all the little things, features that it had. So I decided to purchase it. And uh, what you get with this little piranha is a nice thick hunk, hunk of steel. You get a bottle opener right here. Pop open your drink after a nice day of work. You got what supposedly is like a box opener is this little notch right here. It's dull. There's no sharpness in there, but you're supposed to like hook it into the side of your like taped box and then slide it open and open your box. Um, I don't, it can kind of do that. If I was you, I would take and you really wanted that feature. Uh, they should have either drilled that out and just made this a little thinner here so it could cut easier. Uh, I mean, it barely gets the job done, but supposedly that's what this little notch here is for. Then you have a big flat piece right here for a pry bar. And that's really what I wanted was something with the screwdriver and a pry bar, you know, open stuff and different things like that. And that's definitely what this is good for, scraping, you know, scraping off paint or just, you know, just other junk. But this is really super strong, can definitely pop open a bunch of stuff. Then inside here are teeth, and this is supposed to be able to uh, hit standard bolts and you can you know use it basically as a little wrench and it does work i've tested it out it'll go all the way up to uh actually the lug nuts on my truck which is pretty crazy for the wheels uh, i mean i don't have enough leverage obviously to work to take the tire off but it'll go all the way up to there and then go all the way down to right about here then there's metric on this mouth and you're supposed to be able to just tighten and loosen you know bolts if you had to or you can hold it in place and then if you got your other leatherman tool you know you can crank down or you know whatever you'd want to do but these are supposed to be wrenches in here in the mouth areas then you got the little eyelet with this little rubberized thing for the screwdriver i'll pull this out here push it out show you boom you just slide it right out fits right in place and then you got yourself your handy dandy little screwdriver and then you just slide it back into place pretty simple pretty easy uh not bad this is the issue okay i i when I purchased this, I didn't really realize how big three, almost four inches is, 3.87 inches long is. On my keychain, you can see how big that is. That's a really big hunk of metal. And I usually carry my keys in my pockets. I have another ring that goes on my outside. But that's a really big piece, and it doesn't fit inside my pocket with all the other things that I have in there with like like my pocket knife, my wallet, and other stuff. It's just really big and cumbersome to me and really does is too big for what I was looking for. And the other kind of ding that I have for this is the price point. You're looking around $35 plus shipping. That's a lot for just this little hunk of metal with some little features in here and, and whatever. I mean, the quality is definitely there. You know, it's a good quality, well-built uh, item by Leatherman, but it's just not really what I need in a little pry bar tool. There's much cheaper items out there. I know Gerber makes a little uh, pry bar tool. Uh, Boker makes a little pry bar tool. There are a couple other designs by Leatherman that are smaller that have a pry bar tool. Um, so this just really isn't fitting the bill and I'm actually going to send this back. But I just wanted to show you guys what this is if you were interested or looking at it. I mean, it is large. Kind of throw you throw it up here. Just give you some other examples really quick. Here's my wallet. I mean, that's just, it's as tall as my wallet. And it's just, it, for me, a little too big. For a lot of people, I'm sure they probably wouldn't mind, or you can put it in, you know, maybe like your BDU wallet, or you just carry your keys and that's it in your pocket, then cool. I mean, no problem, and, and this is going to work great for you. But for me, it was just a little too bulky and large for what I really wanted it to do. And that $40 after seeing that, and I just wasn't, you know, loving it. So I decided to throw the piranha back into the sea and send it back to Leatherman and I'm gonna go with, actually I'm gonna be rocking, I've been doing it for about a week now, hey, um, is a Leatherman Micra, or you could use a squirt if you do want a, a wrench option that is lighter, smaller, and has more stuff that I can use. So this actually went on my keychain instead. 
and it was awesome because I got it for free from my father-in-law. So it can't beat that. Anywho, that's the Piranha by Leatherman. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.